I'm James Lyon from Lyon Ag Drone Solutions. Uh, I've been involved with agricultural spray drones for around two and a half years now. I started off originally with uh, T20s. We do all sorts of contract spraying and mapping, predominantly in pasture situations. There is approximately 77% of the Australian landscape is pasture grazing land, which is grazed from beef and sheep to dairy as well. Blackberries are an invasive species in Australia and definitely not wanted within pasture settings. If untreated, blackberries can actually completely overrun the entire paddock, meaning that the livestock are not able to effectively walk around and graze the area, so it can be, um, yes, definitely uncontrollable. Typically around this area, quite a bit of spraying is done by helicopter, uh, and it's not exactly very targeted because it's a pretty much a blanket application of herbicide. The other method that people also use is um, hand spraying with quick spray hoses, but the people have to be on the ground to do that and some of these steep hills that we can be quite difficult to get around on. So we've been doing blackberry spraying with drones for around two years now. My initial idea of getting into drones was to be able to AI detect and spot spray nodding thistles. And nodding thistles are another invasive or noxious weed that um, farmers typically spot spray off you know, quad bikes or side by sides. And so I did quite a bit of research into spray drones and mapping drones and purchased a couple of DJI drones two and a half years ago. Uh, it's all sort of moved on from there. So the first step is that we, uh, we map the field using a, an M3M or a M3 multispectral. We then stitch those images together using DJI Terra run an AI classification software program over the ortho mosaic file that has been generated, then edits the detections of the weeds within the DJI Terra ecosystem, and then we generate 3D flight paths from there which will spot spray the weeds that we've been detecting. So the biggest advantage I see from using a spray drone versus other spray methods is well, the, the safety of the drone for starters, so people are not getting exposed to chemicals. We can be a lot more targeted in our approach with the application of the herbicides. Um, so we're using less chemical, less damage to non-target plant species, and it is a cost-effective method of applying the chemicals. So I think yeah, drones are going to be definitely the thing of the future.